Welcome back, Forexia fam. Today we're going over a quick analysis, a macro overview of gold and USDJPY. So to get started, we're going to chart up the trend on gold just by adding some trend lines here. Here we go. All right, this looks like the overall trend that we see on gold. Very obvious uptrend. It's been uptrending since uh, this uptrend has lasted 292 days, approximately. And now we can see price has met a high right around here. This was a previous high. And when it met this previous high, we can see it hit right around 2,431 and then dipped retraced and we can see price met once again this previous high and dipped off of that previous high retraced off of this high this retracement so far was from the top here to the bottom over a thousand almost a thousand three hundred pips and i think i i believe that this will continue down right around to this area at least another 800 850 maybe a thousand pips to the downside it looks like there has been a trap right around here right up here and also a potential signature trade like this where we can see the wedge pattern forming a breakout past this high to induce traders to buy and then reverse against them. So a lot of the traders that bought right up here are going to have their stop losses potentially below these lower lows and right around here. So that's why I believe that price will continue to the downside even though we are in an uptrend. So obviously just because we're in an uptrend doesn't mean that price is always going to go up. So we could see a retracement from here and then it could make a new high, right? It could do something like this, could respect, respect that trend line, but we don't know as of yet. So we're going to continue this right here. I'm drawing a zone right down here because this is the lows right around here so it's most likely that there's going to be a lot of buyers stop losses right down here of the buyers that bought into this induction right here so it would make sense that the price moves down at least to this zone or close to it right around here to hit the stop losses of those traders that were induced by this move here <clears throat> now, let's go to the one hour time frame. I'm going to delete this for now. <clears throat> one hour time frame. And we're going to look at the overall structure. So I think here is my analysis. This is the analysis that I sent to the Forexia groups. Overall, I think we'll reach this zone right here. We could potentially see a retracement back to the high of the week, which would be right around back to this red zone right up here before the overall reversal to the downside. Okay. I do think we could see price meeting or breaking the high of the week so obviously the the high of the week right now is right here because this is monday so sunday monday the start of a new week and the high of the previous week looks like it was right around here so these are these are two areas that we have to take into consideration because they are highs but in my opinion i do not think that the market will reach this level i think it will i think price will move up to this 
previous high right here, move up to this high, dance up above this high a little bit, and then slowly make its way back down. Could be a potential Tuesday reversal off of the high of Sunday, Monday, or they could be potentially just making this trend here and Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, possible uptrend, and then somewhere around midweek reverse off of the highs of the week. So that is another potential. But overall, our, our bias is the same, right? We believe that price is going to reverse to the downside. It's just a matter of where it could reverse. So like I said, in my opinion, I think we will see price reversing right around here at these highs. Highs of the week. And now let's go back right around here. All right, so like I said, we could very well see a reversal off of these highs of the week. And then from the high of the week, the current high of the week to this first green zone that we have right here, that is over 800 pips. And then these lows down here that we were targeting as well, that is another, let's calculate how many pips. That is over a thousand pips, so 1,150 something pips. I think, I, I believe I'm calculating that right. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. All right, so overall, this would be a, a healthy retracement from this massive move here. So I think overall it would be a healthy retracement to see price move back to this green zone and then depending on price action, depending on what we see right around this area, it could either continue to the downside and get to, if it continues to the downside, it will mo most likely reach right around here, this level, right around 2,150 right around there. Could potentially hit this level right here. If it continues to the downside, if it breaks past this lower trend line. So that could be respected. It is, we are in a macro trend. This is the overall trend. However, we don't like to just trade based on the trend. Obviously the trend isn't always going to be your friend. That's what we teach here at Forexia. And another reason why I believe that the gold versus the dollar may be reversing, may be uh, retracing to these levels is because of my analysis on USDJPY. So we're going to look at USDJPY in just a second. And as many, as many of you guys know, USDJPY and uh, gold are inverse. They have inverse correlation. So most of the time when gold is trending up, that means USDJPY is trending down. Most of the time. So that's not 100% accurate, but a lot of the times that's how gold and USDJPY move inverse to each other. So let's check out USDJPY. And uh, I think I'm maybe going to spoil the analysis for you guys. Actually, no. Here we go. Alrighty. We're going to remove the drawing that we had previously. Okay, so right now on USDJPY, we can see this was actually a move that we predicted right 
up here we predicted this reversal off of this previous high right here this previous high and this overall reversal was almost a thousand pips to the downside that is insane for uh usdjpy and that only took 14 days two weeks two weeks or three trading weeks and we can see a thousand pip move to the downside on usdjpy so after that thousand pip move to the downside it is pretty obvious that we could see a retracement back up to the upside we can see that price made it exactly to this this level right here what is that level 152.0 152 exactly right at that price level where it previously got to as well you can see that price targeted this level in the past and right after that level it bounced you can see it targeted that level once again and it is bouncing off of that level so if we zoom into the one hour time frame and we start to look at the overall trend we can see the trend is obviously in a downtrend however what I want to point out here is that we could very well have a signature trade type move type structure play out right around here and this is similar to my analysis on USD uh, I mean on gold where I was expecting a move to the upside on gold and then the retracement to the downside so a small move to the upside where we're working off of the highs of the week before we reverse another what 800 plus pips to the downside on gold and then usdjpy we're looking at a potential what is that 20 30 pip move to the downside I don't know I'm confused I is that 20 pips or 200 pips I'm pretty sure that's 20 pips I don't know what happened to trading view the the whole calculation with pips got totally messed up but all right here we can see the structure of a potential signature trade so this just confirms my bias on gold where i believe that there could be a potential reversal to the, to the or continuation to the downside on gold and this confirms my analysis because i believe that usdjpy could make a move to the, to the downside to this previous low before completely reversing back up to the upside and i believe we could see price reach the high of the previous week so here we can see price met this area right here and it respected it rejected this area keeps rejecting it finally breaks through it comes back to reject it again and then here we can see the high of this previous week is exactly right here so right here the high of this previous week and then let's say if everything works out like we have uh, projected we will see a breakout here to the downside in the next few hours or the next few days to the downside here trapping retail traders off of this low creating that signature trade pattern inducing sellers out of this triangle formation triangle pattern and then 
a complete re reversal to the upside. So once again, gold is completely inverse to USDJPY and vice versa, USDJPY is inverse to gold. So if gold goes down, which that is our bias, that gold will continue to the downside, that means USDJPY will most likely go up. So in my opinion, I think we could see USDJPY from this low right here move up about um, 56 pips. Yeah, I don't think this is correct. Yeah, that would be 560 pips, I think, if, if, if I'm calculating correctly. So 560 pips to the, to the upside and gold will move down about 800 plus pips to the downside. That is my over analysis, overall analysis. If you guys want to see a more in-depth analysis, check out Forexia t.me slash Forexia 2 on Telegram. And if you go to our blog, Forexia.net, our website, we have on our blog, I'm constantly posting my analysis of different pairs. And I have posted my analysis of gold and USDJPY uh, just the other day. So this is kind of a video analysis of that previous analysis that I already made and published to Forexia.net. So thank you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick analysis of gold and USDJPY. This is my outlook. So until the next video, you guys, take care. Peace out. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Thank you guys. Subscribe. Take care. Much love.